All right, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here, RTFSmall.com, bring you a fantastic video today. We are playing some Eve Echoes, and we are doing a fitting guide for the Orthrus. This is the More Jews uh, Legion. It's a brand new ship coming out in the next patch here. The ne or, sorry, the next Sovereign update here, and it is the faction cruiser for the More Jews Legion. Uh, now this ship is extremely powerful because it has uh, massively uh, increased the speed of the uh, missiles and torpedoes. So they move extremely quick. They fly for a little bit less duration, but they move extremely quick. Um, they do a massive amount of damage extremely quickly. They will catch the target, nuke the target, and make a little pew pew pew. Okay. Not only do they uh, move ex extremely quick, they also have increased explosion velocity, which means they will uh, attack a faster moving target, um, and they do additional damage. So really the whole point of using an Orthrus is because it can hit faster ships. If you wanted to know what torpedoes and missiles are like against faster ships, then the Orthrus is for you, okay? Uh, it also has increased warp scrambler range, which is really nice. Because with my Warp Scrambler, I'm at 23.44 kilometers of range, which is pretty freaking good. So my range with the torpedoes that I'm currently equipped is 17.82 kilometers. So I'm going to get extremely close to them, and I'm going to launch these suckers, and they're going to move at, as you can clearly see, 7,425 meters per second. So these can basically hit any ship that I engage. Any ship that I can get close enough within 18 kilometers of, uh, I am going to hit them with these torpedoes, and I'm going to blow them into into oblivion. Okay. Now the Orthrus has a massive amount of uh, passive cold DPS because it does have six weapon slots, as you can see here, versus other faction cruisers only have four to five weapon slots. The Orthrus has six. Uh, it sacrifices the low slot to get there. Okay. So I am using in this particular build the A-type medium torpedo launchers. Um, by the time this weapon comes out, A-type missile launchers, uh, but sorry, by the time this ship comes out, the A-type missile launchers should also be available, so you can actually replicate this build. Okay, uh, I'm running a micro warp drive. This is a Type C, and the reason it's the Type C is because my capacitor, or sorry, my power grid is just about maxed out. Um, so with the Type C, I've got nine power grid left. Uh, do I need a Type B or A? Maybe. Uh, but right now, right now, I think we're good because my current uh, navigational speed is 2,731 meters per second. So I move extremely fast. The goal is get into the target, lock them down. OK, once I lock them down, they're going to have no MWD. Maybe they lock me down with a scram and I lose my MWD. But I move pretty quickly and with a web and a scram uh, with a pass passive movement speed. Check this out. I still move pretty quickly even when even without the MWD. OK, the Orthros is a fast ship. All right, hang on. Let me get this. Uh, the Orthrus is a fast ship, as I was saying. Uh, it still moves 433.5 meters per second, which is extremely fast for a cruiser, and that is with a single navigational rig uh, for auxiliary thrusters. Okay, so if you're using an Ox three auxiliary thrusters rig level three, uh, you'll have 20% velocity increase. So you might be closer to you know 415. Uh, meters per second, which is still extremely fast, okay? Uh, now, the other fittings that I'm currently running on the Orthrus, other than my uh, uh, torpedoes, my medium torpedo launcher, my micro warp drive, I'm also running a large, large A-type shield booster. Um, sucking up a little bit extra power grid, but giving myself a massive amount of uh, regeneration. So that is going to be really key finding a close range. I am running a invulnerability field, uh, adaptive vulnerability field for my shield resistances because this is the shield tanking ship. And I am running a Pythium, uh, Pythium A-type ballistic control missile system. And this is going to give me a little bit more damage and a little bit faster attacks. Uh, this is, you know, you could theoretically swap that out for some more resist or for some other uh, low slot as, as desired. Now I am using the Warp Scrambler with 7 Jammer Strength because I have the passive 1 additional Jammer Strength, right? And then I also have the range for my Scrambler and my Disruptor. Um, 
So I have seven jammer strength instead of six. I have a range of 23.44 with the scram. I'm running a webifier, which has 14.8 kilometer range. Uh, would like to get a little bit. That's about the range I'm going to be at, so that's not too bad. I also have a medium Nosferatu, which will be cap zapping my uh, enemies and stealing their their stuff. And then just to capitalize on top of the Orthrus already uh, fantastic abilities for attacking fast moving ships, uh, I have now also put a, a target painter on to increase the signature radius. So I will be doing full damage with these torpedoes to any target that I attack because their signature radius is going to be massively increased. Um, and uh, of course, the Orthrus has, uh, you know, much faster uh, missiles and torpedoes, and it has the uh, explosion radius uh, reduction, right? In addition to that, I is, am just using a general generic hammerhead drone. I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, as far as the rigs I'm using, I'm using a bay low accelerator. I'm using two of these to give myself a total of 22.5% uh, faster bay loading, okay? And then I am using uh, one explosion velocity bonus, which is going to, again, just add to the speed in which my, uh, my explosion reaches its max radius, which is going to mean it's more effective against smaller ships. So I'm just dialing, I'm just adding a little bit of icing on top of the cake here and making it that much more effective against smaller ships. If you're planning on fighting battleships and, uh, uh, you know, battle cruisers and battleships with the Orthrus, then I would say you can probably drop this and you could probably just stack some damage. Um, so, to support my large shield regen, I am running two capacitor control circuits. And then, of course, as I showed you before, I am running an auxiliary thrusters, okay? So that is the fit for this uh, Orthrus. It is a fantastic ship. Let's go see it in action for, uh, what do I got? Oh, I'm almost at the end of the video. I don't want to get this too long. But what I will do is uh, just jump to a random anomaly nearby. And uh, we'll just get... Uh, We'll just get uh, a little bit of pew pew in and see what the actual damage looks like. Because like I said, this is cold. This is 1101, almost 1102 DPS cold, okay? When it's hot, we're going to see what's going to happen. Alright, let's pop my adaptive, right? There we go. So my actual physical defense, my EHP in combat is going to be about 34k, 34.6k. Uh, decent resistances, uh, and overall should be a fun ship to fight with. So let's go shoot. Oh, uh, let's go shoot the Ferox. That sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna focus here. We're gonna approach. We're gonna orbit him at uh, at 14. I'm gonna turn these off. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get into that combat. Get excited. Here comes some damage. Here. Co oh well, you know what. I talked about focusing on these frigates, right? Let's just focus on this guy for a second. I told you that I was going to be blapping these fr these frigates with my torpedoes, and there it is. Let me get my target painter up. Target painter's up. Let me get uh, let me get a little bit closer to this guy. Let's get approach at twelve. Let's approach at twelve. Let's gonna go ahead and go hot. Weapons are now hot. Weapons are now hot. We should see a full torpedo burst on this Condor too. Four. Torpedo burst on this Condor 2. There it is. Torpedoes away. We are smashing. So that is a close range, um, close range frigate fight with torpedoes. That was nice. I'm going to orbit at 11 here. Going to orbit at 11 here, and we are going to slowly move our way into killing everybody. Whoa! 3,600 damage. That was a lot. Oh, my God. Oh, this guy does a lot of damage. This guy does a lot of damage. 1424 DPS hot. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Whoa, another 3600. This guy is an animal. And of course, I've got the large regen just in case I need to regenerate a little bit. Uh, uh, but so far, I seem to be fine. Uh, and then there it is. Two ticks of the regen and I'm back to full. This ship is an animal animal it's just look at this it's just non-stop i'm not even hot right now i'm just hitting this guy for 3200 my weapons aren't even hot this is probably the highest dps faction cruiser i've played yet and i've played most of them at this point so 
Let's see what happens with this. Uh, another frigate here, right? We got another frigate coming in. Oh, I am smashing through this guy's face right now. We are smashing right into this guy's face right now. And he's down. Okay. Okay. And I, you can see I'm orbiting so quickly. I'm still at a very high speed here. The inertia on this cruiser is fantastic. So as I get a little bit closer, we're going to see what my orbit speed is at this 13 km. I'm still moving at 2,500 meters a second. So I'm essentially a uh, pretty significant speed tank here. I'm doing a pretty good job staying uh, staying on this guy. Uh, you know what? Looking at it now, it could use maybe one inertia modifier rig. Um, but overall, I am loving this. I am orbiting this guy at 16 kilometers at 2,500 meters a second as a cruiser. Just punching him in the face for 3,000 you know, plus over and over. So really, no no complaints here. We're going to go hot in just a second. I'm going to get a little bit closer, and then we're going to go hot, okay? Let's just get a little bit closer to this guy. Coming in hot. Okay, now we're a little bit closer. We're going to pop our weapons hot. Weapons are going hot. Let's scram him. He scrammed. He scrammed. And here comes the, here comes the pew. Look at how much damage this is doing. This raven is just done, dude. This raven, this raven is done. Oh, yeah, he's done. He got nothing left, dog. Got nothing left. There's just so much damage coming out right now. This is probably my new favorite ship. I think I've just realized that the Orthrus is the ship for me. I think it's time to go to the market, liquidate my Ashimu and my Phantasm on the market. Uh, well, in, in a public contract because they're fitted. And switch to the Orthros when it comes out because this is definitely the ship that you want to be running. This guy is insane. Orbiting, look at this, 16, 17 km, 2,500 meters a second. Just pumping away with the damage. How insane is that? All right. Well, listen, thanks for watching. I love you guys a long time. This ship is an animal. Uh, stay tuned for more videos this weekend and uh, throughout the week as we continue to play these fantastic ships. Love you guys a long time. Randy out.